Since retiring to stud and becoming leading first season sire, Lope de Vega has continued on an upward trajectory through the stallion ranks. This year he has sired an impressive array of winners, including the Irish 2000 Guineas winner Phoenix of Spain. He's an imposing physical with impressive statistics, and now John O'Connor of Bally Lynch Stud tells us more about Lope de Vega. Well, I was very impressed with his racing uh, record. We, we knew from the time he was a two-year-old, when he, when he won his first two starts very, very impressively, that he was really high regarded by Andre Fab. And I have a lot of regard for Andre Fab's view on stuff, um, as you can see from our stallion roster. So we were watching him. He came from last to first in the Pula Sede Poulain, showed a huge turn of foot. And then he went on to the Prix de Jockey Club and did almost the opposite. From the very start, what was very obvious was he gets very athletic horses. They have this extraordinary loose walk and you will see that with almost every uh, Lope de Vega that you see. When I'm doing my notes, it's very good walk, very easy walk. It's, it's consistent amongst them. So we knew from early on that he was getting very athletic horses. We didn't expect him to be, you know, a very precocious stallion. He, he's after, after all, he's, he's a French derby winner. Um, but uh, they showed speed from the start. And he's probably the first French derby winner to ever start a Cornwallis winner in his first crop. And then, of course, one of our own uh, uh, colts that we bred, uh, Bellardo, um, won the Dewhurst and turned out to be European champion two-year-old and made Lope de Vega European champion uh, first crop sire. He'd been 50 to 1 at the start of the year and I'm not a punting man but I did take a little bit of that. Amongst this particular crop he had eight individual stakes winning two-year-olds last year which was uh, equal to Galileo which is an extraordinary feat because Galileo is such a wonderful stallion. Um, so he got a from, from the start of that crop racing he got a whole bunch of nice horses and uh, probably the best of them in terms of, of the result was newspaper record winning the Breeders' Cup uh, Juvenile Phillies Turf. And Phoenix of Spain was a very promising two-year-old, a big, powerful colt, um, just got beat ahead um, in the Group 1 at Doncaster. And he's progressed, obviously, and, and won the Irish 2000 Guineas on his first start this year. So that's a very strong crop, but we're already starting to see now the first of his two-year-old crop starting to come out. He is one of those unusual stallions that seems to succeed right across the globe. So he's had multiple Group 1 winners in Australia. He's had a Group 1 winning sprinter in Dubai. He's had Group 1 winners in France, in Britain and in Ireland. He's had a Group 1 winner in Canada and a Breeders' Cup winner in, in the US. So he's succeeded across all sorts of different surfaces, uh, distances, um, and yeah, he's one of those horses who seems to work a little bit anywhere.